sunset builds on my mindset. I can't deny it getting high. It was with the help of a great um, production company as well as like a team of um, producers at the hospital that really helped put all of this into motion. I kind of had the ideas behind it but didn't know how to move forward and they kind of facilitated that. The video tells the story of you know going through the different steps of, of being a patient and then all, all the way through um, discharge. So there was a lot of different steps that we, we needed to capture. It was a lot of film for you know two minutes and, and 30 seconds of, of video but I think it was all kind of all necessary to, to make a good product. It was, it, making a music video was more difficult than we thought I think. Uh, um, we were pretty pretty uh, tired at the end of the day but uh, it was fun. It was a good experience. None of us had ever done anything like that before so uh, it was really um, it was interesting to see how uh, the creativity of the, uh, the videographers and uh, the creative um, crew uh, can put music and video and things like that together to make, uh, to make such a nice end product. Go ahead, Colin. Ready? Yep. Ready. When myself and the Dark Spark team first come in, I mean, from a production standpoint, we're coming and we bring out our cameras and our lights and our microphones and we, we're setting up these different scenarios and have all these different things going on. Miles. Paint some your best rainbows. Whoa. You're trying to find these little nuggets and these little moments that that really shine through and then you want that to sort of be the focus and then you hand it off to an editor like Peter Bellinger who's, who's very good at what he does uh, and then he's able to just sort of sift through all of this content that we've got uh, and to see him find those little moments without having been here find those same moments you realize that it really does translate from, from being here and seeing it in person it translates through the camera and through the edit and then it makes its way into the final piece and it ends up you know it ends up being a really nice nice string of these little moments as a nurse, personally, that's the most rewarding part of the job is to just see a child smile despite their illnesses and despite all the complications that they're going through in life. And for their families to maybe take a little stress off their back for a while and the staff just all coming together. We work as a team day in and day out to you know, promote patient safety and welfare and take care of our patients. But now to do something fun and exciting, it was just, it was a great day and I think everyone enjoyed it. So production day was, uh, was a lot of fun. We had a lot of different activities planned, so we had a lot of uh, marks to hit as far as time, as far as the resources and people that you know we needed to pull this all together. And it all culminated with the big dancing in the garden. That was probably the biggest thing that we had to plan and get together. Jessica, one of our nurses, she is a very experienced and wonderful choreographer and she choreographed the dance scene of us all in the garden center. It turned out wonderful. <laughs> Kathleen, the um, head of the child life here, she was just incredible in organizing everything. This is the playroom in the garden center, kind of her um, main areas that she you know, takes care of. And she just organized everything incredibly and um, provided the props for us. Everybody from the staff and, and the patients, everybody that's here, the families that were, were around the couple of days that we were here, uh, really were, were interested and excited about taking part in this and doing something because I think it is, it's something different, it's something special, and it's the kind of thing that everybody here as, as a whole community is able to take part in. That It really was sort of taking their mind off what what is normally happening in a hospital. It's not necessarily an exciting place. You don't really want to go to the hospital. Most people come here because they have to. Um, so just to be able to come in and, and provide a little bit of a fun, fun atmosphere, a little bit of a change of pace, make it just sort of keep their minds off of what's really going on in their lives for even a short time, it's a, it's a gratifying thing. For sure. We, uh, we had a great experience here at Beaumont when she was a, when she was a patient and we remember how, how scared she was when she came and not only how scared she was but how scared all of us were. A video like this I think will, will help other families and will help uh, other uh, sweet kids like Serena who, who are going to come here to Beaumont uh, feel a little bit more comfortable and know that they're going to be in good hands and uh, they're going to be well taken care of. And it's not always scary things that happen in hospitals. A lot of, a lot of fun things happen too. And, uh, they get, um, they get lots of people, lots of love along the way. Uh, it was an incredible day, and I felt that it turned out a hundred times better than I could have ever imagined it to be. Um, and that's all thanks to all the many people that um, helped out with it along the way.